Radical. So Bungie, who had a partnership with Activision, uh, came out with a statement. Bungie is built on empowering our people no matter who they are, where they're from, or how they identify. We have responsibility to acknowledge, reflect, and do what we can to push back on a persistent culture of harassment, abuse, and inequality that exists in our industry. Now, why are they coming out with that statement? Without specifically naming it, they are directing that towards Activision Blizzard. Okay, so here's what's going on. And I will go into the allegations against Activision Blizzard, and then I'll get my thoughts. A two-year investigation by the state agency found that the company discriminated against female employees in terms and conditions of employment, including compensation, assignment, promotion, and termination. Company leadership consistently failed to take steps to prevent discrimination, harassment, and retaliation, the agency said. According to the complaint filed Tuesday in the Los Angeles Supreme Court, Superior Court, Female employees make up around 20% of the Activision workforce and are subjected to a pervasive frat boy workplace culture, including tube crawls, in which male employees drink copious amounts of alcohol as they crawl their way through various cubicles in the office and often engage in inappropriate behavior towards female employees. The agency alleges male employees play video games during the workday while delegating responsibilities to female employees engage in sexual banter, and joke openly about rape, amongst other things. Female employees allege being held back from promotions because of the possibility they might become pregnant, being criticized for leaving to pick up their children from daycare, and being kicked out of lactation rooms so male colleagues could use the room for meetings, the complaint says. Employees Female employees working for the World of Warcraft team noted that male employees and supervisors would hit on them, make derogatory comments about rape, and otherwise engage in demeaning behavior, the agency alleges. The suit also points to a female Activision employee who took her own life while on a company trip with her male supervisor. The employee had been subjected to intense sexual harassment prior to her death, including having nude photos passed around at a company holiday party, the complaint says. The agency seeks an injunction forcing compliance with workplace protections, as well as unpaid wages, pay adjustments, back pay, and lost wages and benefits for female employees. Okay, so all this sounds pretty bad, specifically the female that took her life after being subjected to various forms of harassment. Yeah, it, it sounds like a terrible workplace environment for females. Uh, now, I looked at the 20% to the 80% ratio. So whenever you have a ratio like that, uh, male to female, there's always a possibility of that kind of stuff happening. You know, it, whatever workplace it is. But I say it all starts from the top. It all starts from the top. And, you know, I, I would say you can't stop, like, everything from happening. And some things on the women's side, too. Like, you can't stop, like, gossiping women that, you know, talk about guys and everything. But I know the situation is a little different. But no workplace is going to be perfect. But there should at least be some, be some rules set in place to kind of stop that kind of stuff from happening. Uh, it seemed like a frat boy culture. Well... If that's the culture, then I would say it's the duty of the person that's actually running thing at the top to stop that culture from happening. You know, drinking on the job. The thing about drinking on the job is that opens a pathway to a lot of different things, these things happening. Because a lot of guys, they if they weren't drunk... I guarantee you a lot of this wouldn't be going on if they weren't drunk. Now, there's some guys that can actually drink and not act a fucking fool and be perfectly fine. I'm one of those people. But a lot of guys get drunk and then their inner kind of demons come out. Now the main charges are employment discrimination because of sex, retaliation, failure to prevent discrimination and harassment, unequal pay. So employment discrimination because of their sex, uh, the statements to women because, you know, that one guy saying to somebody, I'm afraid you might get pregnant, so we're not going to give you a promotion or something like that, you know, which is just silly. And then the unequal pay. Uh, 
I think when it comes to equal pay, it shouldn't be equal pay. Uh, and I've seen it some places to where a woman might get equal pay just because they're female. If they don't do the same work as a man, I think that's wrong. But I think if the females are doing just as much work or more than the men, then yeah, they got a great point there. But I know that's just kind of used a lot of places just kind of to, you know, pull women up to an equal rate of someone else that's doing more work. And I don't believe in that. I believe in equality, you know, just on the pay for your work rate. Okay, but if there's specific discrimination, then that's different against a female and the females are regularly paid less, you know, while doing the same or more work. Retaliation. That's a big one. The feeling like if you come forward, if you're being harassed and you feel like you can't come forward because the boss is actually going to not listen to you and retaliate against you. That's a big one. Now, there's two sides to every story. And on the side of Activision, they state that DFEH includes distorted and in many cases false descriptions of Blizzard's past, writes the company. We have been extremely cooperative with the DFEH throughout their investigation, including providing them with extensive data and ample documentation, but they refused to inform us what issues they perceived. They were required by law to adequately investigate and to have good faith discussions with us to better understand and to resolve any claims or concerns before going to litigation, but they failed to do so. Instead, they rushed to file an accurate complaint, as we will demonstrate in court. We are confident in our ability to demonstrate our practices as an equal opportunity employer that fosters a supportive, diverse, and inclusive workplace for our people, and we are committed to continuing this effort in the years to come. It is a shame that the DFEH did not want to engage us with us on what they thought were uh, we were seeing in their investigation. This statement concludes. I don't know. I don't know about that. Because, like, if I look at that and if I'm investigating... If you're investigating a workplace, then you kind of have to do it under the radar. Because, like, if a workplace, if a place like that catches wind that they're going to be investigated and they have ample time to kind of, you know, get their shit together, then, yeah, they would probably put all the beer bottles and they would stop drinking before the investigation. But what I look at is all the drinking. I look at the claims of groping. I look at the, you know, woman that killed herself, right? Obviously, there's some things going on there. And like I said, you can't stop all of it. But it sounds to me like a, a culture there, right? So, I don't know. There's two sides to every story. Some other things might come out to actually push against some of the claims and allegations. But right now, for them, it looks very, very, very bad.